Okay, so we're on the Severn Bridge. Means one thing, we're back on the road again. Okay, where are we off to? We're off to Brands Hatch tomorrow, Indy Circuit. Sun is shining, the rain has done one for a change. It's finally run out of the water stuff up there. And uh, yeah, we're back on track. Okay, right. In that case, let's crack on with the journey and see how we get on tomorrow. Right, we're at Brands. Yep, made it, nine o'clock at night. It's dark, nights are closing in. But we're unloaded, ready to go for tomorrow, I guess. So it's off to the hotel for us. And then back first thing, sign on, noise test, and hopefully some riding. Clear blue sky, brilliant weather. Especially given all the rain we've had recently. Very lucky indeed. The mornings are always a little bit hectic on a track day, what we've signing on, noise testing, getting your tyre warmers on, getting your tyre pressures right. Yeah, there's always a lot to do before the day starts. It's worth saying that both Kate and myself are wearing RST custom design suits. Simply the best suit I've ever had. I've had suits from probably all the manufacturers. These are so comfortable. The fit was brilliant, especially for Kate. I mean, ladies really struggle to find suits that are a good fit. Um, honestly, can't knock the service from RST. Absolutely superb. Really good here to see that Kate was holding her own in the Inters group, having really only recently moved up from the novice group. Um, it's quite a big step, so yeah, she's definitely holding her own and is definitely in the right group for where she's at now. So at this point I don't think Kate knew I was coming up behind her so I couldn't resist a little cheeky look across I think she even has a cheeky look back at me All good fun Okay, here we are, Brands Hatch, lovely sunny day, first session done, how's it going? Yeah, really good, I don't think I saw a single CB500, clearly as a Jixa rider, that's what I'm out to do today, even the score, look for the CB500, um, but, but no, it's all, it's all good fun, all good fun, the sun is absolutely gorgeous, it's lovely and warm, bring on the riding. Okay, good stuff, we should say it's a road bike track day today, so you're on your Jixa as it's in road bike trim. My Beamer is in road bike trim anyway. So we're all good. Something I should have probably mentioned earlier is that my BMW S1000RR has got a Kropovich very short exhaust system on it. Well, it's just the end can. No problems with noise testing at all. I think it blew 98 decibels. So yeah, it was absolutely fine. Here I am following Kate round uh, for a bit again. One thing I did have on the BMW is when I lowered the tyre pressures, it got very upset and uh, threw a huge warning message up on the dash, which confused the hell out of me. 
once I worked out how to turn that off but that's why there's now a little orange light in the corner uh, it still wants to tell you that you've lowered your tyre pressures um, yeah something worth th thinking about if, you, if you're going to take one of these bikes on track wiped a caddy for a bit a couple of times actually in the day and they're a little bit hesitant on the overtaking it's one of the hardest things to get your head around uh, and feel confident enough to do it but yeah nice for me there to overtake two and for the price of one road bike only track there, it's quite different obviously by definition a lot of the bikes out there are road bikes so I guess they're people who maybe don't do track days quite so often uh, but it's interesting, a real mixture of bikes doesn't mean people are any slower um, maybe the groups are very slightly slower than the standard track day but um, yeah, it's certainly a different dynamic I think So it's lunchtime here at Brands. How's it going? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, lunchtime. Yeah, it's been good. Weather's been great. Uh, track conditions are just about perfect, really. Yeah, so it's a bit different today. Being a road bike only track day uh, is what it says. So no track bikes, no slick tyres. Um, tyre warmers are allowed. Uh, but a guy got turned away earlier because he turned up on his track bike. So they're quite strict on that. How did they know it was a track bike? No lights, no running gear, nothing. It was clear. So yeah. Um, pace is a little bit slower I guess being a road bike only track day but that's fine uh, it's quite quiet the garages are quiet the groups are smaller um, but it's good yeah really good three more sessions this afternoon steady away come home in one piece that's the plan and enjoy it bikes are fueled it's going to fuel us cool so here we go with the afternoon sessions I think the afternoon sessions are 15 minutes whereas the morning sessions are 20 minutes and three sessions morning three sessions afternoon so yeah here we go Okay, so this is Kate's 2011 Jixxer 600. She's using this today because it's a road bike only track day. She can't use her track bike. So yeah, it's not something that she uses that often. I think you actually pulled it out this year having not used it for a, a yeah, couple of years. It's been sawn for a couple of years, put her back on the road at the beginning of, well, supposed to be summer. Okay, how does it compare to the CBR 600? Yeah, so I decided the tire pressure's out. They're a bit high earlier. Um, so a few skipping moments going around clearways, which is a bit offsetting. But, but that's that was better that last session. No quick shifter. Who knew that just not having a quick shift would make that much difference? Um, but I've had to get my head into when I can pull the clutch and when I can't, when I'm lent over. I think she's not quite as quick, and I'm surprised because my memory and nostalgia said that she was super fast. 
So, um, but, but still a lovely bike to ride, lovely bike. So here I'm following Kate again. She's really working hard on her body position and moving around on the bike. I think it's one of the hardest things to learn. We'll easily learn the theory, the actual reality of doing it is something else. But yeah, she's making real good progress. And uh, it was good to follow around for a few laps and, and just see what she was doing. We're just about to drop down Paddock Hill Bend here. The camera doesn't do it justice. It's like falling off the edge of a cliff. Um, didn't really scare me until I actually went and stood at the bottom and watched someone riding around there. And then you realise just quite how steep it is. So I'm really loving the BMW S1000 RR on track. It's an awesome track bike. It's just ridiculously easy to ride. Makes your job easy really. Um, I guess Brands Indy is quite a short track so don't really get a chance to use its full potential. But a few weeks back I did use it on the Brands Grand Prix track uh, where I really got a chance to stretch its legs and it is um, yeah, it's mighty impressive I have to say. Seriously fast piece of kit. Um, but you've got all those fancy electronics that are keeping you safe uh, and it yeah, makes you feel like you know, you're able to push. Even passing the Panagali V4, might even be a V4R, made it look easy. Um, power of the Beamer is, yeah, it, it's not lacking, let's, let's put it that way. drive back to Wales it always is but well worth it I'd rather drive four hours for a brilliant circuit than just go down the road to Sunday which is not what we want so yeah loved it and that concludes our track day at Brands Hatch Indy circuit brilliant day so lucky with the weather it's great that Kate's moved up to the Inters group now so we're able to ride on track together thoroughly enjoyed the day uh, just can't wait to do it again. Many thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe and we'll see you next time.